Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Green to catch up with our friend brewmaster Jimmy Mort from the Spotsil Brewery to get a history lesson on Shiner beer. Plus, we're going to eat some good grub. Let's go inside the Green Grove. Joining me now is Brewmaster Jimmy from the Spotsil Brewery in Shiner, Texas, where they make Shiner. And we have a lot of food in front of us right here at Green Grove. And we're going to be learning about Shiner, how it was made, how it got started. And what better way than with some good food, right? Oh man, that's how you started <laughs> out. That's with some good food. There's a lot of different beers that Shiner makes. 1909 and the Premium are actually like the well-known, most iconic beers that y'all are brewing, right? Oh, right. Uh, you know, I've been at the brewery 43 years, and we've been <laughs> brewing beer at Spetzel for 112. So I, I, I got a little bit of the history here. <laughs> so, you know, Shiner Premium is one of the oldest beer we make. And uh, it's been around forever, it, even before Shiner Bach, in which Shiner Bach came in, you know, you know it's a seasonal in, in, in the 70s. And, and uh, you know, with Premium, you know, that's the first beer I've ever drank. You know, coming to the brewery as a, as a kid with mom and dad. And uh, <laughs> here we, we, we come back, you know, 112 years later, and we look at making a beer called Shiner 1909. This is just a old fashioned lager that we felt like that ingredients they would have had in 1909, back when a group of German Czech uh, immigrants settled in Shiner. Jimmy has been working at the Spotsil Brewery since he was 17 years old. So when you talk with him, he's actually like opening up a vault of knowledge and history about the brewery and about the Shiner brand and the city. Now, where did the name Spetzel come from? Spetzel came from uh, Cosmo Spetzel. Uh, he was the original brewmaster of Spetzel Brewery. We uh, had Shiner Brewing Association found it. They didn't actually have a, you know, a, a brewmaster per se. So they had to bring one in because they made pretty bad beer early. So they had to bring one in, which was a professional and Cosmo Spetzel came in. And to this day, uh, our name is Spetzel Brewing. We kept the name. When Shiner Bach came out in the 70s, that was kind of the one, right? It became your flagship. Yeah, Shiner Bach became our flagship. And it's kind of funny how it done that. <laughs> you know, it, uh, as a seasonal, it started out selling the Shiner Premium. And then finally, we had to say, hey, we got to do something here. So we made it full time. And uh, actually, uh, you know, Austin, Texas was, a, uh, a, you know, a, a big sales of Shiner Bach for us. I mean, the kids at the college uh, fell in love with Shiner Bach. You know, it was uniquely different, you know, when you had this amber lager sitting on in, in a pitcher and uniquely different. But when you poured it in a glass and actually drank it, it was just a great sessional beer that you could drink many of. So we've learned the history of Shiner, where it came from, how it got started. Let's drink some of it, because that's my favorite part of history is when you get to eat and drink it, right? And exactly. try some of the food that's out here. Let's start with the 1909. 1909. Cheers. Okay, take a sip. Here we go. It's so smooth. The water is the most important part, right? Oh, again, we've got a well. It's an artesian well. Been there since 1909. Hand dug well, one water, one hop, you know, <laughs> one malt, yeah. and, you know, one yeast. So we're looking at, uh, you know, just Something very basic, but very flavorful. Now we're gonna jump over, open up the Shiner Premium. This is the one, this is it. This is what puts y'all on the map. Well, Cheers. Yeah, th yeah, this is the one, and one of our oldest beers we make. Yes. Right here, Shiner and we're actually, Premium. We're gonna be enjoying that here with an apple bacon brat, sauerkraut on top, a little bit of sauce action as well, something that you can get when you come visit out here. How important it is for you guys to have Shiner a part of your business? You know, when we got down here to Green, it was the quintessential Texas beer. Um, if you're going to be in Green, Texas, you got to have a Shiner. Finish it with the beer. Sure. There we go. Jimmy, thank you so much for being out here with us. You guys are out here at Green Grove, right here in Green, right outside New Braunfels. Right? People think it's all the same, but it is different. A lot of history out here. Come and visit. There's so many great things to come out here and enjoy. Plus, get the food, get a little bit of Shiner, drink and eat some history when you're out here as well. Thank you. Thank you.